this is my first time using my new vlogging camera. Let me know what you think, guys. Hopefully it's good because I spent a lot of money on it. So, fingers crossed, you like it. So this morning, it is 8 a.m. Oopsie, I literally just got out of bed. I was meant to get up at 6 a.m. My alarm went off. I looked at it. I turned it off. I went back to sleep. So I was supposed to get up and go for a run and I just thought to myself this morning, like, I just don't want to go for a run today. I just don't want to get out of bed right now. I just want to sleep a little bit longer. I felt like I needed that because it's just been a busy few weeks since <clears throat> we got back from Canada. It's been really intense. Like, I don't know if I said this in my last video, but yeah, my assistant um, resigned for very valid personal reasons. And I then had to hire a new assistant, which kind of took over my whole life. And all of my other work got pushed onto the back burner. And now I'm playing this massive catch up. Um, we just hired somebody, well, we just accepted somebody's application on Monday. She's coming into the team at the end of the month, which is so exciting. Now I feel like I can finally get to work on everything else that I was supposed to be doing over the past two weeks. Yeah, let me get my laptop. Let's get some work done. You know, I love my Stanley Cup. The Stanley Cup comes everywhere with me. I now, as well as my Stanley Cup, have an emotional support hot flask. <laughs> We bought this in Canada from Yeti and I just fill this with a litre of tea every day and it brings me so much joy having a hot flask of tea with me at all times. I don't know if that's crazy but I just like having my two different cups that go around the house with me. Chocolate oats with chocolate peanut butter on top. Yum. A litre of tea ready. Let's start work. Okay, let the packing begin. When I pack for a trip, I write a packing list on my laptop. I have like a standardized packing list that I use and then I just amend it based on each trip, the activities we're gonna be doing, etc., etc. That is what I'm gonna do. I've just thrown in some starter things, sun cream, mozzie spray, blister plasters, my supplements. And yeah, let's just, let's get started. You would think after years of being a travel blogger, I'd be much better at packing, but this is probably gonna take me a while. I'm bringing two books with me. These are the two that I'm bringing. This is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. Everyone keeps talking about this. Everyone seems to love this book. So I'm gonna read it. And then I've got The Rachel Incident by Caroline Donahue. And I ordered this because I listened to a, her being interviewed on a podcast that I love called Shameless and they were speaking about this book and I was like, I'm influenced, I'm gonna buy it. So these are the two books, books I'm taking. I probably should just take one because I'm probably only gonna get through one. But I'm taking two because I'm a serial overpacker, okay? And I like to be prepared just in case I wanna do lots of reading. Okay, I've been packing for about an hour. This is the carnage so far. I think this is everything. And then what I typically do now is I like put it in the suitcase and as I'm putting it in, I'm like, okay, what can I feasibly take out? How can I try and reduce what I'm taking? I don't typically take too much out, but I try to. The intention is there. Okay, we are officially looking pretty packed. Hey, so it is almost 12. I finished packing and then I just did some work. So I edited an Instagram post, put captions on it, posted it, also posted it on TikTok and did some emails. And now I, what am I doing? I'm gonna do my Canada blog post. That's what I'm gonna work on now. Try and smash that today. Um, I feel like today is not a very exciting day for you guys, but you know what is exciting? How cute Bella is, so maybe I could show you her, maybe that'll make today's vlog more interesting. Bella Boo, are you in here? Yeah. Yeah. We are looking extra cute today. It is lunchtime. I'm gonna have a lazy girl lunch. I've got one of these stir fry packs. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it in a pan with some tofu. I thought we had noodles in the, in the cupboard but we don't. So I've just made one of our pots of instant noodles. I'm just gonna put those noodles in. I'm also eating a second pot of instant noodles because I'm hungry. So I'm eating one pot and the second pot will go in the stir fry. And that is the plan. 
So I'm just gonna get the veg in and I'm gonna make a little sauce with like peanut butter and maple syrup and soy sauce. And yeah, nice, easy, lazy girl lunch because who doesn't love a lazy girl lunch? And don't worry guys, I know this says it's chicken, but most of these instant noodle pots actually have no meat in them. They're just vegetarian friendly. So yeah, this has no meat in it, even though it's chicken flavor. So just to reassure you, There is lunch. I'm just gonna pop on some black sesame seeds. And then I feel like we're looking pretty good. So yeah, here is my lunch. I've got some noodles with tofu and veggies. And I'm gonna eat those while I work on my Canada blog post. It is now four minutes to two and I have a call. This is a call with my mindfulness guy, Ed. Ed Halliwell, I can leave him link down below if any of you wanna know what he does or get involved. He is like a mindfulness teacher. I started working with him in January or maybe last December. I don't remember exactly when I started working with him. I started out working with him once a week and working through a 12 week mindfulness meditation program. And now I check in with him like once a month, sometimes twice a month, depending on what I feel like I need. And we just kind of are working through at the moment some sort of mindfulness around self-compassion and basically things that I need to work on and I need to work on self-compassion. So yeah, I've got a call with him now in two minutes. So I'm gonna get myself comfy on the sofa because we're gonna be meditating and yeah check in with him for my session for the month I actually did two sessions this month because at the start of October I wasn't feeling too good so I was like Ed we need two sessions this month please mate yeah I'm all right thank you all right now I'm, I'm since we last spoke I'm much better good thank god for good. that of affection to ourselves as okay i have half an hour until i need to leave the house to go and meet some friends for dinner so it's time to put some makeup on my face isn't it what am i gonna do i guess i might try out this new tinted moisturizer that i bought in my last vlog so give this a go first things first put some mascara on so it is now 4.15, I'm leaving at 4.45 p.m. So yeah, I had my call with Ed, that went really well. We did like about half an hour of meditation and half an hour of just chatting and he's almost like a therapist as well as a mindfulness teacher at this point and a friend. Um, he's such a good guy. So if you're looking for somebody for some mindfulness guidance and support, I definitely recommend him. I'll leave him linked down below. I have been a full paying customer for a long time now and I hope to continue to be for a while. Yeah, I haven't really spoken about the mental health on here in a while. I feel like I'm just, yeah, I feel like I'm just in a place where I don't wanna talk about it. I was actually gonna go on a podcast to talk all about my mental health and the journey and stuff because I felt like, you know, it's been a year since everything unfolded. Maybe it's time, maybe now is when I can start opening up and actually talking about it. And then I agreed to do the podcast and as the podcast came nearer, I just kept thinking to myself, I am not ready because I'm not out the other side. And I don't know if I ever will be. I feel like mental health is gonna be a part of my life perhaps forever, most likely forever. And maybe I just, maybe this is just something that I don't talk about in huge depth online in terms of my personal experience. I feel like I can share things that help me feel good, but I just don't know if it's good for me to talk at length about my own, you know, mental health experiences because it just makes me feel a bit weird when I talk about it and I don't need any more days where I feel weird because I have enough of those. So yeah, for now, I really hope you guys can just kind of respect the fact that I don't share too much depth or really any depth about my own mental health challenges, but I also think it's important that I acknowledge that they happen so that you guys know that people go through stuff, but I just don't think it's right for me to be going into depth. And I feel like that's okay. Not everything has to be shared and it's not healthy, I think, to share everything all the time. And I think that's one thing that I really thought I wanted to share, but every time I try to, I don't feel good. So maybe I'm just not destined to share it. And I hope that's cool with you.
Well, it's gonna have to be cool with you because I'm just not gonna do it, you know? I'm on my second litre of tea for the day. This is my second or third. I drink so much tea because of this flask. And I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it. Also, giving my nails a break from gel. And I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like my nails without gel on them, guys. Oh, we've got a little spot there. But everything else is calming down for my big breakup last month. Yeah, not really into this no gel nail thing. Anyway, let's stop talking about that. Let's do this tint to moisturize. And my skin feels like maybe it needs some hydration or something. Hydro primer, that sounds good. This is for milk. It's a little sample I must have got in a box somewhere. Yeah, that makes my skin feel a bit like it's more ready for some some slap. Okay, so this tint and moisturizer. How am I going to apply it? Oh, so I use my fingers? What should I do? I don't really know. I might, just, I might just put some droplets on my face and then blend it in with a brush. This is my first time using this, so I'm I'm experimenting. Oh, that is quite nice. That is quite nice. Okay, I am feeling this tint of moisturizer. I'm actually already liking this a lot more than my By Terry CC. I mean, this has been my staple for years and I'm not saying I don't like this, but I felt like it was time for a change. And yeah, I'm really enjoying how this looks on the skin. This Ultraviolet SPF 50 Dream Screen Tinted Veil. I'm wearing shade V2, V4. I'll leave this link down below. I'm really enjoying how that looks on my skin. It's just basically out of like a, a gentle sort of tinted veil, as it says. And then I'm just gonna add some coverage with concealer and I feel like that's more than enough. So super happy with that. Anyway, I want to talk to you guys and be like, do you have any video requests? One thing that's changed since everything that happened last year is that I've stopped watching YouTube. I've stopped consuming a lot of content, basically. I've stopped consuming a lot of content on different platforms. I hardly listen to podcasts anymore. I just listen to one or two podcasts. I used to listen to so many podcasts. I don't really watch YouTube anymore. I don't really browse social media that much anymore. So I feel like I should be doing those things because it helps me stay on top of the trends and what's popping and what's happening in the industry. But I, it's not good for me to spend that much time on social media and that much time on screens. So I don't really do much, you know, browsing online. And I haven't watched other people's YouTube content in, yeah, like 13, 14 months, literally. No YouTube content. <laughs> so I just feel like I'm putting vlogs out into the ether with no idea about what else is happening on the YouTube platform. And like, am I supposed to be doing different things? Am I supposed to be uploading different, different styles of content? What's happening right now on YouTube? So yeah, I just wondered if you guys could let me know in the comments, like, should I be adding something else into the mix here? Should I be doing different styles of video? I'm just doing vlogs and workout videos right now and I feel like I'm quite enjoying it, but am I missing out on some key thing that, you know, every Tom, Dick and Harry's doing and I have no idea about because I don't really watch YouTube anymore. And don't get me wrong, I actually really enjoy creating content for YouTube. I really enjoy creating my vlogs. I really enjoy creating my workout videos that I've just brought back. Like I'm enjoying creating for YouTube. I've got a hair on my face. What is it? <laughs> but I'm just not really, stop it. But yeah, I'm just not really consuming it anymore even though I enjoy creating for it. So I would love your feedback on, oh God. Oh God. So yeah, I would love your feedback on what content you're enjoying on this platform. If there's anything else you'd like to see from me, any video requests, that would be so helpful for me. Genuinely, that would be so helpful for me because as I said, I feel like I don't really know what's going on over here and I just need some guidance. So if you have anything that you are really enjoying watching online, content from other people that you're thinking you're really liking, you'd like to see from me, please let me know down below in the comments. Okay, back to the makeup. I'm literally just doing that tinted veil, some concealer, this blusher, the liquid Charlotte Tilbury blusher. Then I might do some liquid highlight and then just put a gentle, gentle dusting of um, powder over and then I think we're good. This is just a Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. I'm just literally dabbing it under my eyes and on those high points. And yeah, I'll just literally put a dusting of powder over the top. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder. And that will do. 
I'm ready. I just need to do my hair and put some clothes on. Dish, bash, bosh. Here is my outfit for the evening. I literally just threw it together. I've got on this striped top. I don't actually know where it's from. I don't know where this is from. It could be Arquette or Under the Stories. Belt is from Under the Stories. Jeans are from High Fashion. Bag is my Chanel that I haven't worn in literally months. So nice to get it, get it out again. And I'll just put on some trainers and hit the road. So back in, was it May? I hosted a group hiking trip to Cinque Terre and I met some lovely ladies on that trip and I'm meeting some of those gals for dinner tonight. gelato shop for some post dinner ice cream and it's nice and empty because it's October and look at all of these yummy flavours the girls display with their options and I have gone for toffee peanut and pistachio so do you, you use your iPhone? I used to use my Canon G7X but I sold my big camera so now I've got the budget to get a new vlogging camera is this an accessory or it's a microphone so cute <laughs> it's just a hat. Wow. And it's a good pistachio as well. It's a very good pistachio. It has come to that time at the end of the day where I finished the vlog. It is officially 9.26pm. I'm back home. I'm going to wash my face and get in bed. All in all, today was quite a, quite a nice day. I got a lot of work done, had a mindfulness session, saw some pals. Anything I didn't do today is exercise, but also sometimes you just gotta just gotta pick your battles and squeezing the workout in was not the battle I was trying to fight today. I'm using a new cleanser that I got sent. This is the Gatineau Age Benefit Melting Cleansing Elixir. I was gonna put Ant in the vlog, but he is very much in bed naked, looking cute, hanging out with Bella. So I feel like he just needs some, some privacy to end his day. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit thumbs up, please hit subscribe, please leave a comment. And yeah, I feel like these days, not the most exciting days, but hopefully you still enjoyed the vlog. You still found it interesting in some sense. Let me know down below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.